Hello, welcome to Drainage Sales. Today I'm going to talk to you about gullies. There are two types of gullies, a P-trap gully and a bottle gully. We'll look at the differences between the two and how they both work. Fundamentally, all gullies work on the same principle and that is they're there to allow you to connect a pipe into an underground drainage system without allowing any smells to penetrate back into the air. And they work on the same principle, all of them, in that water flows down through the body of the gully, out through a higher outlet, which leaves an amount of water, a body of water, below the outlet level, so under there, that stops any smells from penetrating through. Smells can't get through that body of water, so that stops any smells from escaping into the atmosphere. So that's what a gully's for. It's exactly the same as a trap underneath your kitchen sink or your basin. That's what all traps are there for. Okay, let's have a look at the two different types and we'll start with the P-trap gully. There are two types of P-trap available. One with a 90 degree outlet and one with a 45 degree outlet. Both of these P-traps require a hopper to bring your waste or rainwater pipe down inside which you then connect the hopper to the gully and you do that with a piece of 110 mil drainage pipe so 110 mil drainage pipe into there you then cut that to determine the height that you require to ground level and then that sits down inside the ring seal on the gully itself two types of hopper available there's a rectangular one and the square one that I showed you both of them you need to make a little cutout there's cutouts for various size pipes there and you cut that with either a jigsaw or a pad saw and make sure that you push your pipe down right inside the body of the hopper. The only real disadvantage with a P-trap gully is that it's not roddable. You can see from the shape there that you wouldn't be able to get a drain rod around that in the event of any blockage. Bottle gullies are probably the most popular type of gully and that's because they are roddable and I'll show you how in a minute. The bottle gully works on the same principle in that the water flows down through the middle of the uh, body of the gully and then underneath a central chamber back up and out the outlet pipe. If I take the grid off you can see that this central chamber which forms the trap is removable. Now two advantages of that. One is that it enables you to stick your hand in with your marigolds and clear out any grit and sediment and dirt that collects in the bottom of the gully. But two is that, as you can see, you can then force a drain rod around from the top and into the outlet pipe. Very useful in the event of any blockage. They come, I'm showing you one with a round top, and they are available with either round tops or square tops. Most people go with the square tops because it's a lot easier to finish your block paving or patio or tarmacking against a square finish than it is against a circular and with this you can still swivel the outlet whilst keeping this square nice and tight against the wall you swivel the outlet to join up to your outlet pipe wherever it is another popular gully bottle gully is a back inlet bottle gully the inlet is very slightly higher than the outlet and this allows you to make a connection in line in the middle of a drainage line that's usually used for rainwater pipes or perhaps in the middle of a paved area such as a patio or a courtyard to collect rainwater and put it into a surface water drain um, the connection to a back inlet gully if i can just free up my piece of pipe again the inlet is a solvent weld connection which you'd solvent weld your pipe in there and the outlet is just a standard 110 push fit socket so you can use a bend or a coupler um, and that's the same with all outlets on all gullies all outlets are always a 110 socket whether that's a p-trap gully or a bottle gully there are probably too many questions to answer about gullies uh, in this video but if you do have anything specific that I haven't covered today do get in touch via the website our email address is www.drainagesales.co.uk and the website is www.drainagesales.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and I hope we'll see you again soon.